Hi, I'm Mark Tuart, and I'm the author of How to Be a Sales Superstar, Break All the Rules, and Succeed While Doing It. I want to talk about Chapter 5 of my book, which is Putting Time on Your Side. Maybe the most important chapter, if you will, of the whole book. Why? There are 24 hours in a day. you got 1,440 minutes in every single day. That's congruent for every single person on earth. But somebody will walk out today in their day of their daily actions and boom, make something happen. They'll break the bank. They'll make all kinds of money. They'll make connections. They'll be productive. Somebody will walk out and feel deathly tired for the day and not have done a thing. Do you ever find that you're most tired when you do less? It's all about the actions of what you do in your day. You see, there's no such thing as time management. There's been books and books and books and books written on it, and it's all just a ruse. There is no such thing as time management. If you have 24 hours in a day, you can't add or delete time. You can just add what you do in your day. And if you want to make more money, just add more value by being more productive. Write out what you want to happen in your day and start to do it. Take massive action to get yourself an MBA, a massive bank account. So what I would like for you to do in thinking about your time management is to say, okay, what can I do that gets me the most bang for my buck? If I look at my successes from the past, what has led to that? Do more of that. What has led to me not getting what I want? Do less of that. It's not rocket science. So I would invite you to start quantifying because you got to quantify to qualify. You see, there are four basic, what I call the four D's of action management. Dump it, defer it, delegate it, or do it. So if something comes across that you got to make a decision on, ask yourself, does it make me money or make me happy? If it doesn't, dump it. Or if you can't make a decision immediately, it's like taking your mail. When you get your mail, sit over a garbage can and say, does it make me money or make me happy? Do I know that I want to take action on this? If it does, take action. That's a do it. If it doesn't, dump it. Or if you don't have enough information and got to educate yourself a little bit more, defer it. But don't defer it past a week. Put yourself a little time slot on the wall by your desk or where you work that says um, uh, action or um, uh, however you want to title it, something you need to make a decision on. And don't let it go past a week and put the date on there when you put it in that file. Every morning when you start working, pull that file up, look at today's that date that you got to make that decision on. You've deferred it once, don't defer it twice. If it doesn't sell you on taking action, dump it. If not, do it. So you got dump it, defer it, do it, and delegate it is the fourth. There are a lot of things you may be good at, but for most of us, we generally are good at one, two, or three things. The rest we're not good at. I would invite you to take your day and try to do what you are really good at. The rest of the stuff, find a way to delegate it. And you say, well, I don't have the money. I can't afford it. That's not true. You can do trade outs. Find somebody who's good at what you're not and trade out with them. Be good for them. They be good for you, but it works for both. There are now uh, places you can go like Fiverr.com. On this Fiverr, there's people that will do just about anything for $5. You can also go to websites where you can hire people um, to do things. And if you delegate, if you put in uh, to a web search, you're going to find a bunch of these websites where people will contract to do things for you uh, where you outsource it on an extremely cheap basis. And so now you're exponentially growing what you do best. I know in my case, I'm pretty good at selling, pretty good at marketing, pretty good at planning, goal setting, long-term thinking, uh, but I stink at accounting. I stink at certain daily tasks. I try to delegate all those things so I can get really effective in what I do with my day. It just boils down to this. Monitoring what you do every single day and exponentially growing that and being more productive. For all of us, all of us, no matter how hard we work, I bet we waste 50% of our day. And if we could just get a little bit more productive, you'll be amazed at how much more you get done productively that pays you. You have to look at your actions and say, is this really getting me 
what I want. And if it's not, dramatically change it. I always tell people, as silly as it sounds, if you're not getting what you want, start off by doing something different when you wake up. Do something totally different in your game plan of your day. Drive a different way to work. Listen to a different channel. And you say, well, what's this have to do with time uh, and, and how I get more results? You have to start looking at your day and acting in your day differently to get different ideas on what you have to do. Ask for outside help. Go to somebody who's tremendously productive and look at what they do with their day. This is why I call putting time on your side, which is chapter five. Once again, my name's Mark Tuart. I'm the author of How to Be a Sales Superstar, Break All the Rules, and Succeed While Doing It. If you will go to this website, if you'll go to superstarbookvideo.com, that's superstarbookvideo.com, you'll get the first chapter of this book for free, and you're gonna get a bunch of free bonuses, and I guarantee you this can help make you more money to not only survive any tough times, but to thrive. So, how to be a sales superstar. Go to superstarbookvideo.com. Thanks a lot, and here's to you becoming a sales superstar.